Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're doing another mock draft, I guess. We are using the Draft Prospects Hockey.com uh, virtual draft simulator thing, um, but with a twist. So today I'm going to be drafting as the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to see what type of players they might get and actually basically this is GM mode if if these players are available I get to pick who to take so you know I could take I could take Nathan Goucher first overall if I wanted to I mean I'm not going to I'm gonna keep it uh, realistic hopefully <laughs> but uh, yeah the Canadians have like basically all the draft picks uh, if I remember correctly but yeah, let's just get into it. So, obviously, first overall, I am going to take Shane Wright, even though, well, I'm I'm taking Shane Wright. There there isn't really any uh questions about that. I am just going to sim to my next pick. So their next pick is 26 overall. We've got Mintukov, Nassar, um, Korchinski, maybe Perkis. What's our next pick? 33. Okay, okay, so some of these guys should still be available. I'm going to take Minchukov then there at 26. I think that's pretty good value. Okay, we're now at 33, and we got Bystet, Korchinski, Fergus. I really like Fergus. What's our next pick? We pick again at... Come on, 61. Oh, okay. So they only have one second. I thought they had more picks than that. Maybe they have a bunch of late round picks. Um, I think it's been, uh, geez. I think it's between Korchinski and Furkus for me at 33. Furkus is definitely not, I mean, neither of these guys are going to be available at 61. I will go with Korchinski, though, because I feel like they need defensemen more. I mean, it says they need a power center, but that's definitely not Fricus either. So, and again, I don't really believe in drafting for positional needs, but I do like Korchinski. So, yeah, we'll we'll take him there. Okay, on to sixty-one. Now we've got wow, a lot of demon available here. That kind of sucks. Maybe we should have gone for Fricus earlier. Uh, who, let's see, we got Sam Renzel, Julian Lutz, Grudin, ooh, Grudinen. Okay, I think they have Grudinen ranked, uh, pretty low. Here, Trik, ooh, Trikazov. They pick, excuse me, they pick again at 69, though, so I think he'll still be available there. I'm going to take Grudinen. I'm just going to. Send these three picks manually. The yeah, Islanders took Renzel. That's interesting. So now, what's our next pick? 74. Wow, they have a lot of picks in this range. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I have to pounce on Trikazov here. I mean, Jack Devine is fine. Sakura. I think if we can get Sakura and Trikazov, that would be pretty cool. But I feel like Sakura has a better chance of falling to our next pick, so I'm going to take Trikazov here. And he is a, well, yeah, he's he, he's a center. Okay, 74 now. Let's see. Let's is still available. For Duke. Man, did Sakura get drafted? Let's see. Man, Seattle took him at 67. They took him two picks after Trikazov. Man, okay, that sucks. Let's see, who are we left with then? Lutz? Um, that'd be a decent pick. Tyler Duke as like a risky defenseman. Matthew Semenov, I don't like that much. I think I'll take I think I'll take Duke. I know I'm I 
believe I've mentioned that I'm not really that high on him, but that's just because, if I remember correctly, he is an under one of the undersized defensemen in this class, um, which I don't really care for undersized defensemen in general, although they are underrated. So 91 now. Okay, Tyler Brennan as an option in goal. I have no idea what the Canadians goalie pipeline looks like. Obviously they have Primo. Do they still have Primo? I think so. But he kind of seems like a tweener so far. Reed Schaefer. Ice Pedersen is an interesting option on defense. We do have pick 97 overall as well, though, so I'm going to take somebody who's a bit higher ranked, I think. Um, Jordan Dumais. That seems like a good, well, not necessarily a good pick, but that seems like the type of player Canadians would draft. So, sure, I'll take, I'll take Dumais there. Now we're at 97. Brennan is still there. Schaefer is still there. Our next pick is at... Not for a while, it looks like. Oh, 126 and 127. Okay, so not too, too far. Um, I think I'll take Reed Schaefer. Okay, now we're at 126. And we are probably going to be running out of players I know a lot about here. Don't like Hudson Thornton. Raul Yakupov. That's interesting. I wonder if he's re I wonder if he's related to Nail. Tucker Robertson. Meh. I mean that's a decent pick in this range, I think. Um, I mean I have two picks here in a row. You know, I'll take Christian Cairo for sure. That's a guy I like. And... I'll take Tucker Robertson. Why not? He's a guy I've seen play at least. Oh man, we have 129 too? See, like like I said, the, the Canadians have all of the picks, basically. I don't know how much value these picks are going to have. But... When you have a lot of them, some of them are bound to hit. Okay, this Pom, this the this guy, Ponomaryov, is that the same guy I was thinking about earlier? Because I'm pretty sure I've seen this guy, like ranked in people's first rounds or close to the first round. He's not a guy that I know anything about really, but I have seen him ranked that high. So, like I said. In the other videos I've done using this website, I think their rankings are pretty outdated. So this is not probably not a realistic pick, because I think this guy's ranked higher, but he's available, so I will take him. Unless, of course, I'm mistaking him for somebody else, in which case I'm just drafting a guy, basically. Okay, now we're at 161, and yeah, there's... Oh, well, Oasis Weisblatt. Uh, well, one sixty-three is really high for Weisblatt. I think if he he there's a there's a pretty good chance he doesn't get drafted at all, in my opinion. <clears throat> Haven't really been impressed watching him this year. I mean, his team kind of sucks too, and he is one of the better players on his team. But. Uh, if he's available later, we'll take him. He probably won't be, though, just because of how high they have him ranked. Yeah, let's go back to the top here. I'll take Angus Booth, because that's a guy I know. <laughs> At this point, it really doesn't matter too much who you're drafting. All these guys have a similar... Well, all these guys are pretty much long shots, I should say. Uh, at 193, so we're really getting towards the end of the draft here. 
Brady Stonehouse. Uh, that's a guy I've seen a little bit. I'm a little bit surprised. But, you know, he's a good, uh, good old OHL guy. Uh, why not? He has some upside. 215, and I believe this is our last pick of the draft, so... I will... Let's see. Probably just going to end up taking the highest ranked player on the board. Unless there's anybody I see. Owen Baker is a player I've heard of. But he's ranked significantly below this spot. Not that I really trust these rankings, but they're all I have to go off of, so that's... That's what I'm going to use. Hmm. Mark Andre Gaudet. That's a good name. Yeah, I'm just going to back to the top. And congratulations, Jackson Edward. From the London Knights, they're a good team this year. Defenseman. Welcome to the Canadians. And that is it for our draft so let's see uh let's see if i remember how to do this yeah montreal here we go so we got shane wright pavel mintyukov kevin korchinski vladimir grudinin gleb shrikazov tyler duke oh my god this is a good draft class gordon dumay Reed Schaefer, Christian Cairo, Tucker Robertson, Alexander Ponomaryov, Angus Booth, Brady Stonehouse, and Jackson Edward. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so how many picks is that? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen picks. Wow. Okay. And these top guys. Right, Mintyukov, Korchinski, Grudin, and Trikzov. Like, those top five, I think, are all um, NHL players. For Not for sure, but, like, very good chance. I mean, Wright is obviously a NHL-level player. I think Trikzov is definitely an NHL player. Korchinski is an NHL player, but <clears throat> he could end up being, like, a really high... Um, my offense guy that you have questions about defensively, kind of like Brent Burns ish, um, although not not necessarily that good on offense. I wouldn't say that. I mean, comparing any prospects to a player of that caliber is kind of risky, I guess. But a after Trikazov, though, I mean, one getting Trikazov sixty fifth overall is just a really good pick. But Tyler Duke is a guy with a lot of upside. Reed Schaefer, Christian Cairo, I think, is a guy with a lot of upside. I mean, we drafted a ton of defensemen, uh, but that's just kind of the way the cards fell, I guess. Ponomaryov, not a guy I know a lot about, but I'm pretty sure he's ranked pretty high, so if they take him that low, that could end up being a really good pick. Um, and yeah, I mean, wow. Uh, Canadians fans, let me know what you think about this draft class, if this is how you actually, I mean... If these are the guys you actually end up taking, I think most Canadians fans are going to be pretty happy with that. But just by the sheer volume of the picks they have, I can't see them having a bad draft class. So uh, July 7th and 8th, that's a big day for Canadians fans. Um, and yeah, that will be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did like it, please consider giving a like. That really helps me out. And um, I will put another video over here. Uh, not sure exactly what it'll be. Just for you Canadians fans, I guess it'll probably be my video on Shane Wright. Uh, because you guys are definitely getting him. And uh, yeah. How did I say?